This is Doug Brunk for Global Medical News Network, reporting from the annual meeting of the American Society of Nephrology in Denver. In what is believed to be the first study of its kind, researchers from MD Anderson Cancer Center evaluated the incidence, risk factors, and outcomes of acute kidney injury in cancer patients. We know that acute kidney injury is on the rise, but little is known about its incidence or outcomes or risk factors in patients with cancer. So we, working at MD Anderson Cancer Center, looked at admission of patients into the cancer center over a three-year, three-month period in 2006. We found that the incidence is much higher than compared to the community admission of patients for medical reasons. Cancer patients had about 28% uh, acute kidney injury in, in the, during the hospitalization. That included 14% who had, when they were coming into the hospital, and 14% who developed acute kidney injury while in the hospital. Again, little is known about the outcome of these patients who developed acute kidney injury. And what we found was that patients who developed acute kidney injury, the cancer patients in the hospital, has about five-fold increased odds ratio for mortality. They're all three times more likely to stay in the hospital as well. And there are certain key risk factors were identified, such as the presence of sepsis, the utilization of antibiotics, the, the presence of hyperglycemia. So all these are indicating us that we may be able to look at these things more closely, may be proactive in identifying these risk factors and to see whether we can reduce the likelihood of developing acute renal failure in, in the cancer patients admitted in the hospital. The hope is that doing so, we may be able to reduce the higher mortality associated with acute kidney failure.